How's it going everybody? This is Indeed Zing, and I just want to say thank you to Let's Play Footy for uploading my video. So, how's it going everybody? This is Indeed Zing, and today what I've got for you is another FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Squad Builder. Now today I've got a 6,000 coin Primera Liga squad for you. Now that's the Portuguese Premier League, and I just want to say thanks to my friend Chambers for uh, the inspiration for this squad. So, shout out to him. Um, he doesn't have a YouTube account or anything, so I can't really check him out. But now we shall take a look at this very cheap and very effective squad. Now, in goals... We've got Fernandez from Porto. Uh, he's a very fairly solid sort of uh, goalkeeper. Came in very cheap, 350 coins. So I mean, this is a very very solid value buy uh, with solid stats like 80 uh, diving, 81 reflexes, and 71 positioning, which could be a bit improved, I think. But apart from that, he's got pretty fairly consistent stats. And to be fair, in game his uh, sort of statistics do not really reflect. I feel he's very solid in game. So, but then again, he links well with the two centre backs, who are Bruno Martins Indy from again Porto uh, he's very very solid very big physical man uh, with 79 physicality and six foot one in height it's pretty good and his heading I think is to be fair a lot better than his sort of uh, positioning and all that would say so on his uh, stats card but no I think he's a very effective like large sort of solid unit at the back so he's one that you would like to get as well and again for 400 coins it's pretty cheap but he links well with Maurizio the sporting Lisbon centre back uh, comes in at 77 physicality again, six foot one as well. So it's two fairly solid centre backs. Um, they don't necessarily complement each other due to their lack of pace. Uh, but I mean, like I said, they're fairly solid. They link well with the surroundings. So it's all pretty good. And again, 400 coins. So he is very cheap. And then we have got Sedzik, the sporting Lisbon right back, 82 pace, 76 dribbling. Uh, very very fast young man. Uh, not too big, but that doesn't really make that much of a difference with right backs or wing backs in general. Uh, again, the left back, which is Jefferson, which we'll go into in a second. He's got very, very solid pace as well. But uh, Cedric, 450 coins, again, a good buy. And like I said, good pace for a wing back. But no, Jefferson, like I was saying, we'll get there eventually. Here we go. 5 foot 9, so again, he's not very big, but 80 pace, 75 dribbling. Uh, 75 overall, I mean, it's, it's, it's all good stuff. So 77 physicality, which is a good stat as well, considering his size and his height and everything. But uh, no, again, 71 passing, it's all good. And he links well with Nicolas Gaitan. The Gaitan, 83 pace, 86 dribbling. Comes in at 450 coins. I was very surprised at this. An 82 rated overall. I thought he'd be a bit more, to be quite honest, given the fact that in reality, he's linked with a lot of big teams and all of that uh, type of thing. So I thought he'd be a lot more than he is on FIFA. But again, 74 shooting. It's all pretty good. And to be fair, he's probably one of the best value gold cards for me that aren't that isn't rare in the game. So Nicolas Gaitan, definitely one to watch out for. Luis Nani, I believe the most expensive player in this uh, team. Or was he? Yes, 800 coins, I think he was. Uh, so, I mean, that shows just the value of this team more than anything. 5'9", not very big, but do you really need that when, you, when you're Luis Nani? You've got 79 passing, eight, 78 shooting. I'm shocked that it's not above, say, 84, 85, given his, like, the fact that he is so two-footed and his, like, long shots are so, so accurate, powerful, all of it. He's, got, he's one of the best long shots in the world, in my opinion. Um, 84 pace and 86 dribbling. Can't really go too wrong with Luis Nani. I know he's had a bit of a quiet spell in reality, but still a very good value buy on FIFA 15. Then we've got Perez from Benfica again just so consistent so entwined like in tuned or intertwined with those around him 80 pace 82 dribbling uh, for a centre midfielder it's not too vital but it's very useful 78 passing very solid consistent and 73 shooting and 74 dribbling again uh, defending sorry again that's just right on the point and 80 defense of 80 physicality sorry uh, I'm getting a bit I'm going a bit too quick myself out here but 80 physicality is very good um for some five foot ten he's got very he's very versatile and very mobile for someone that size or that frame um, we got uh, Casemiro. Um, I'm having to use him out of position just ever so slightly. I haven't actually changed his position yet. But uh, six foot, good man. I'm very surprised as well. Real Madrid got rid of him in reality. I was a bit, I was, I was disappointed more than because he's one of these football manager legends, as some of you may know. But uh, nonetheless, Casemiro, uh, 79 physicality, which is very, very solid. And uh, to be fair, he feels a lot more mobile on in the game than he does sort of uh, his card stats portray. Like say 66 pace, 69 dribbling, uh, 71 passing. I. I'd say, to be fair, at least 75 for the passing and at least 72 or 3 for the other two. So I'm a bit surprised at Casemiro. Uh, shooting 66 is pretty fair, to be quite honest. But again, at 400 coins, can you really go wrong? I don't think you can. We got, I believe it's Martins from Sporting Lisbon. Uh, again, another one. His stats are just so much better than his sort of overall gives. Or in-game, he plays a lot better than his stats gives. 81 pace, 81 dribbling and 75 passing there. Just spot on. His shooting could be improved. And to be fair, that does show. But apart from that, he's so 
well all round. But again, 500 coins. You can't really go too wrong. But we're going to finish off with the striker. And that is Abu Bakr. Apologies for that, everyone. My phone just rang, so I had to answer it. But no, we're back. And like I said, the last man is Abu Bakr. He is frightening with 85 pace, 71 dribbling, 77 shooting. I mean, he is just another one of these, like, say, uh, who's that guy for Moscow? I can't remember. Um, oh, my God. Dumbia. Sorry. Seydu Dumbia. He's a similar type of proposition to that. Um, again, he's only 22 in real life. So, I mean, it's, it's worrying. But, I mean, it's six foot. 70 physicality and like i said the pace and the speed and the finishing like this and for 450 coins it's just one of these typical just overpowered just annoying players to play against and that is why he is the finishing piece to this squad like i said it's a 4-5-1 formation um, that's my personally that's not my personal favorite but with this team it works in my opinion um my favorite as a lot of you know he knows 4-3-2-1 so that's why I do a lot of my squads in that because I like to use it personally. But again, this is a very versatile, very useful team to have. So everyone, give it a go. Let me know what you think. Um, it does work well, although it may not look up to much just looking at it like this. It does work very well. So like I said, let me know in the comments if it works for you. Any squads you may have as well, let me know if uh, you'd like me to sort of do them based on your recommendations as I have done with Chambers today. But apart from that, I'm going to leave it there. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Of course, as always, you have been incredibly. This has been Zing. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will, of course, see you next time. Thank you, everybody, and goodbye.